And allow me to tell you a little story about breaking the pattern. A couple of years ago, don't ask me how, don't ask me why, I had to teach 25 six-year-olds a lesson of physical education. So I was there, I had balls, and I was standing in the middle of the field, and all the children were in front of me. And I said, okay, children, now we need to put super glue in our legs, feet, stick them on the ground, and now you cannot move, okay? You get the ball and throw it up in the air and get it back. And throw it up in the air and get it back. When suddenly, a beautiful white pigeon come and lands in the middle of the field. Can you guess what happened? The kids were nuts. I mean, Mr. Savas, I'm a, what an amazing pigeon. How cute was that? And I'm said, okay, kids, 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 no eyes on me. Because now I'm going to throw the ball up in the air, and then we're going to clap and get the ball back. Those kids didn't even listen to me. They were selectively blind and selectively deaf. Like you guys, when you were counting items, and you didn't see any bottles, you didn't see any flying watches. You didn't listen to me skipping numbers. And that's it. You can choose who you want to be from that story. Do you want to be the invisible guy? Or do you want to be the distraction? You can either be the distraction or suffer from it. And you can be the distraction by breaking the pattern. And by breaking the pattern, I mean doing something differently, but in an elegant manner. There is this theorist, there is this academic called Judith Barkun that talks about the theory of expectancy violations. That means when something is expected and you do something that is elegantly unexpected, then you get on their map. Then you get, you get to be memorable. Okay, and great brands realize that. Imagine, do you remember the first, the introduction of the iPhone? The first iPhone ever by Steve Jobs. He went in there. A normal and expected presentation of the iPhone could be, look at this amazing phone. It can do this, this, and that. And look at how beautiful it is. It has a little apple bug. But no, he didn't do that. He went into the, and you can find that online after we checked out from here. He went in there and he let people think that he was going to introduce three items. In 2017, three items. He told people that he was going to present today a new full screen iPod, iPod an, an amazing revolutionary phone, and an internet communication device. And he led people thinking that it was three different items, making them excited for each of the item separately. And after that, uh, towards the end of the presentation, he presents the iPhone, and he tells them that it was three in one. And the concluding sentence, we are going to reinvent the telephone. And they did. He broke the pattern, and he was memorable about that. Great brands break the pattern.